That's right. Occidental Petroleum is up 133% uh, this past year. If you had bought it a year ago, you would have paid $32 for it today. You're going to pay $72. The last video I did on it was July 17th when it was at about $58 a share. It has a predictive pattern as we move into its earnings. And earnings are on 11.8. And I think it's going to give you an opportunity to buy in. And I want to show you the history that makes this a good stock for you to own. Because again, energy isn't going away. I know electric vehicles, but they aren't, energy isn't going away. And particularly with the situation in Europe and uh, the Ukraine and Vladimir and his control of oil, we're going to see higher oil prices and Occidental is where I want to be. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. The first thing I did was go to Seeking Alpha and look at the history of oil earnings for Exxon, Chevron, and Occidental. And here you see that uh, Exxon has had a repeated history of prices or earnings going up from 207 to 214 to 245 this last uh, quarter a seven percent increase chevron on the other hand was at 360 uh 582 a huge jump and then had a four percent drop four and a half percent drop this quarter occidental uh, first quarter was 212 316 and then the pundits the uh, analysts are predicting they're going to have a drop of about 22 percent to two dollars and 45 cents i don't think that's going to happen but then i they they have more information than me so then what i wanted to do was go and take a look at the history of uh, Occidental Petroleum as it approached its earnings season. Again, that's November the 8th. They're going to announce their earnings after closing and see if I can see a pattern and maybe I can find a price at which I want to add to my current holdings. So let's go to my Moomoo charts and you can get uh, Moomoo charts and they'll, they'll reward you by giving you 15 shares of stock. So let's look at the charts and see if we can come up with a buy-in price. Okay, this is my Moomoo chart on Occidental Petroleum. And what I've done is I've created a, a, a chart that mimics the 133% increase in price. And so you can see that it is in the year's time it's gone from 33 to uh, 71 today, and that's your 133% gain. And what I want to do is learn from where it's at now as it approaches earnings on the uh, November the 8th and see if I can cr draw some parallels to predict what it might do. So I come back here to November of last year as it approaches the earnings and I see the price is testing this yellow line. The yellow line it represents the nine day moving average. The blue line represents the 50 day and the red line the 200 day moving average. So as it approaches its earnings it um, tests these lines and it reports its earnings and we see a downturn. It actually comes down and tests the 200 day moving average. Let's look at it here. This is um, in uh, February. Again, prior to uh, uh, earnings, it's testing the yellow line, drops below the yellow line, doesn't go all the way down to the 50 day, but then climbs, okay? Now we come to uh, May and we see a similar pattern. Testing the yellow line, actually testing the 50 day, uh, gives us our earnings and uh, then climbs, all right? Seeing a pattern here, um, again, we approach the earnings, we're testing the nine day, we report the earnings, we drop, and then we climb, all right? So here's where we're at now. We're approaching our earnings date of November the 8th. We're testing the nine day right here today. And I suspect that as we move closer, 
will, will even go lower. So what I'm looking at is saying, okay, I already hold a position, and I believe that uh, I have a bright future here, particularly in light of the things that are going to happen in Europe relative to the cost of energy. Uh, and I think it could probably come down here and test the uh, the 50 day moving average. So I've written down a number of $67.45. That's where I think I want to add to my holdings. Am I going to, am I confident enough that I would sell what I've got? No, I, I'm up about uh, 10% on it now. I'll let it um, go because I think on the long term, Occidental is going to do just what it does uh, consistently find its way to new heights, um, co uh, correct a bit, and find a way to its new heights. So that's my take from my Moo Moo uh, uh, chart. And and I, if you don't have a Moo Moo account, open it up, put some a little bit of money, two thousand dollars in it, and get access to this. I'm not going to go into the MACD and the uh, relative strength index and the others. But these are also indications that indicators that you can see right there. You can see where where the relative strength, that yellow or orange line, is going down. See where it did here? It's it's predicting a decrease in price. So again, I think I'm going to be able to buy Occidental Petroleum at sixty-seven dollars and forty-five cents sometime in the near future i'll add to my holdings and then get ready for another climb up. okay that's my take on occidental petroleum and my general feeling on how i'm going to be investing in the future or at least uh, for for now we're in different times uh three years ago when i started this channel i felt that i all i had to do was pick my big six amazon google facebook uh, Microsoft, uh, NVIDIA, and basically an Apple, and just ride it. And uh, because they were controlling our lives, they will control our lives, I think, in the future because of big data. But then you have to adjust to the situation you're in. And we're in a situation much like we were March of 2000, where everything changed. Everything changed because of the coronavirus. And uh, then the tech stocks came back and we had a good ride. But again, everything has changed. And as an investor, if if I want to make money in the interim, I have to adjust how I invest. And that's what I'm doing. Uh, I, I'm picking stocks because it's a stock picker's market. We are going to deal with inflation. Our, our big tech companies got overzealous, hired too many people, bought too much real estate, and now they're paying the consequences. We've got to go through that. So I could just sit back and wait, but wait, I'm 78 years old, I don't have that much time to wait, and I want to build my portfolio back up. So I'm looking at what's happening today. I'm looking at opportunities. I've gotten into technical analysis, and I want to invite you to come along for the ride. I want you to come along and learn with me and learn with our tribe. We have a wonderful individual, Mark, over on our Discord that has taught me the technical analysis. What I just showed you, he taught me because I needed to adjust. I, enjoy, I encourage you to come to our Discord, join our tribe. We have a, a training platform over there where Mark will go into depth every day. He gives you information on technical analysis. And if you can't, it, he charges, I think it's $60 a month. If you can't make $60 a month from the information, the only question really at hand is, are you willing to learn? If you're not willing to learn, then okay, you'll deal with what you got. But I think I can help you. I think Mark can help you. And um, I hope that you can achieve my three objectives for this YouTube channel. And that is make better investment decisions, 
learn our tax code so you can keep more of what you make. And number three, build family wealth that you can pass on to your heirs. That's what I'm all about. That's what Best of Us Investors is all about. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. 